Alright, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden, and in today's video, we're back in XCOM Chimera Squad. Uh, is the game running? Okay. So, we already talked about what we might do, but there's something else I forgot to look at. It's these anarchy levels. Um, and what these are is basically how close this thing is to going into our overall city anarchy. Uh, if this fills up, I think we lose the game. I'm not really sure about the... F oh, wait. City anarchy will increase by one each day. If there are... Any districts at critical unrest. Okay, so these bars are unrest, which then can contribute to anarchy if they're full. Uh, completing an investigation removes four points. If city anarchy reaches 14, city 31 fails, and XCOM can no longer remain. All right, so we have to do is keep down the unrest in each district. Uh, basically, keeping the people calm and, I guess, assuring them that nothing is wrong. And to do that... This will increase by one every day, so in five days that'll be full. But I think we have a, we should have more opportunities than just this one to um take those three days off. That also gives us fifty credits, and then there's also where it saved it was right before I did all of this, so that's why I'm having to go through it again. But this medi patch, I don't think this medi patch is as useful as not getting three days worth of information. So I think this is the best one to do, actually. But also, can I do this without... Okay, that's it. Send APC. This is send APC. Is this one also send? Okay. Hostile forces may attempt to guard a mission-critical device that needs to be stopped. Destroy the device in question when authorized. Keep your distance if you can. All right, and hopefully you guys can hear it a little better. I also turned it up. But yeah, so I have heart. The, um... the uh android basically here to help us we're gonna take zypher verge and terminal and cherub with us uh i think on the next mission i'm probably gonna switch out i don't know maybe some, well actually i have no idea who i need to get it like i need one more oper operative agent however you want to say it before i feel comfortable taking out another person because well i mean before I can utilize more things with the base, I would need one more because I don't want to have a whole bunch of... Or I don't want to send in three in a mission because that doesn't even make sense because I don't need to send in three. But I can't do anything else because you want to almost always want to be building... Equipment into this chemical plant. See what they're up to. So you always want to be building something because that's like how you progress what um, items you can get. So I want to keep doing that constantly and not have to take someone out for it. Unless there's like some major uh, training they can do or if the spec ops becomes necessary. Yeah. Explain them the longest round of our way possible, but we're not going to talk about that. Less than two through this in oh. Less than two through this entrance automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. All non-aggressive enemies guarding this entrance are surprised. Lashing you through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. So a guaranteed shot landing or overwatch. And there's agent damage likely through both up here. Well, if I explode through, then there's also the non-aggressive thing being surprised. So I think we're going to take this move, actually. Her thing doesn't matter, so I don't want her to go last. Because she doesn't do anything during the breach. Her attack is right after the breach. Um... And then terminal. I don't think we we don't have any breach abilities yet, so this so the order doesn't matter as much right now. Okay, so everything in here seems surprised right now. You're alert, but you're just a thrall. Are all of them thralls? I didn't even check that. Thrall, thrall. Okay, you're aggressive though, so I'm gonna start with you. I'm gonna take you out because the aggressive enemies can potentially shoot at us um, during the round. Then we'll go for it. Who's the first door? I think that one is. I like to get her all the way behind lines. That way we have some sort of flank. And we can draw that fire all around instead of them being able to focus on one little area to get us. Is he the last one through? He's not. So we'll take him out. Would have been nice if we started with the critical. I think that's the one. So we're going to go for the alert one. And then try and get him out too. Okay. And then she's going to go and take out... Her dude. Man, a lot of critical hits on this one. That's pretty good actually. The rest of you surrender. What is that? Looks like it's powering up. Take out their equipment. 
Okay, this worked out a little better too because I want to put a kinetic shield on her. Protected from all angles. What is this saying? That's the thing. Destroy the device to stop the re to stop reinforcements. Okay, I don't know. I think I'm gonna take the shot with what is this saying? Okay, there's a dead body in there, and this is what kind of what kind of barrel is it? I can't tell. Oh, well, I'm gonna shoot it. All right, that works out. Okay, so he's going to be poisoned until he moves out of that gas. I think he takes, he'll takes he take one damage over time, uh, which is pretty useful. I really hope he doesn't end up with a scar because they always, they're always beating on him. Okay. Let me see where... I need to put two hands on the controls. I know I have enemies coming in through here. Oh, like, let me make sure. Okay, I have enemies coming through here and there on the next round. So it might be better to take them out with her move. And then get the other two in position to... Um, to shoot. Get her in some cover, but she won't have cover from that direction. Sorry if the camera's moving around a lot. I can check the controls and see if I can slow that down some so it's not swinging around everywhere. Because I do see that it's moving quite quickly. And right here should be safe Crossing from off. both angles. Ah, I should have moved. I should have moved chair up too to a safer spot. Can you make that shot? Yes, you can. That's a dash. I don't want to dash right now. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's get her right there. I have to move around this poison now, too, so maybe it wasn't the best thing to uh, blow it up. She can do three to five damage. Let's hope for five, because we can get that done now. All right, cool. That was easy. At the end of the mission, he's lightly wounded. It says no scar, so I'm still good on that front. Uh, we got an extra 20 in, so that was a quick mission, actually. So, yeah, only seven minutes in. We already finished that mission. Maybe because we stayed on the objective instead of focused on killing enemies. They probably could have done a got done a little faster um, if we used Cherub and uh, Zypher's abilities to take it out. All right, the Alright, so it's basically saying that Mayor Nightingale was an actual good leader, uh, not concerned about herself or just her specific constituents, but the constituency of the whole city, which makes more sense. A lot of people, well not a lot of people, a lot of politicians nowadays have been prioritizing only their constituents. So they focus on things that will benefit their area or region. So like, if you're from the South, you're going to make laws that benefit the South. But a lot of them are only benefiting themselves, which is why the American poli pol political system seems so corrupt. Hollow scanner, target analyzer, ballistic phone lining. Let's go for modular weapons next, actually, since that's also a priority. But we need to get some more Illyrium, because we are starting to run low, uh, considering we can't get this one yet. Although that is probably an upper-level thing, because it's 70, and with the enhanced armor, too. Usually those things come one after the other. It says we have a training area. You need to maintain your skills, physical and mental. Training is the place to do it. It's also where you can adapt to any lasting wounds received in the field. So don't let those wounds linger. You'll pay for them in the long term. Yeah. 
So this is where you would heal your um, scars if you were to end up with them. Uh, that's why I keep saying, I hope I don't get a scar because then I'd have to take him out, put him in here. And to keep the team full at this point, I'd have to pull Godmother off the assembly line and put her in the mission. So, or in a mission, so we'd be losing out on the assemblies. And then we'd have one, if it's to, if it's training to cure a scar or get rid of a scar, it's almost pointless because had I been, or had the mission gone better, then uh, he wouldn't have been hurt. All right, so we have these situations. Uh, this one gives us Illyrium. During a routine bus, 3-1PD discovered a strange device that falls within a mandate. The pol pol they politely request we take it off their hands. That gives us 20, not 20, 40 Illyrium. Uh, this one gives us 85 credits. 3-1PD has been unable to dismantle an Illyrium smuggling ring in the city. If we would locate one of the safe houses, 3-1PD will turn over the impounded content to us. This isn't a mission, right? Okay. So before I send this to the next day, let's actually do these um, promotions. All right. So she has one. You already know your way around the armory. Uh, each of you has a locker here. But it's also where we announce field promotions, which I'm doing now. I'd like to thank my gremlin for always believing in me. Congratulations. I realize now there should have been a cake. Yeah, there probably should have been a cake, but then there'd be a lot of cake going around. A promotion to rank deputy agent has unlocked refresh. The gremlin heals all allies at the breach point two HP, one use permission. All right. So yeah, that one just explained it real quick. All right, promotion rank. Okay, enemies focus their fire on cherub, ignoring other XCOM units at the at this breach point blocks all damage and gain one charge for each attack, on you one use permission. So that's failings. That's his breach thing. So this, I think, this is giving us each person their own breach ability. Is what it seems like. Uh, I think Cherubs has the most potential though, because of his charges being built, and he doesn't take damage during that either. So we have a lot of um, we have a lot of hostile, aggressive enemies. This would be a good one to use and have him lead. So I might, I might start when he's on a mission. I might have him lead through each entrance, or at least each entrance if he has this ability. And there's a lot of, yeah, it's, but it, he's just a leader in the defensive uh, terms, in defensive terms, yeah. Bridge lifts an enemy into the air, removing their cover bit bonuses during the breach. Levitation cancels all alert or aggressive enemy behaviors. I don't know what alert ones do either. I should probably try and figure that out. Let's see. Anything else to that? Nah. The extra action for momentum can be spent to prevent damage from the next attack instead of moving. The extra attack for momentum can be... Oh, I was going to read it again down here. You saw what the mouse was, though. Okay, let's see. What's next? What's next? She doesn't have any... So I think Cherubs... At this level, I think Cherubs has the best... Uh, Cherub just got the best upgrade because of the charges, which then potentially goes back into damage. Maybe Zypher next because it prevents... Is it all damage? Uh, or is it the next attack? Extra action to momentum can be spent to prevent damage from the next attack. So unless I can go up in like, um, I guess usage is the way to say it, then it's not as useful as it could be. Okay, okay. The Illyrium or the credits? We do have a lot of credits. Is there anything we can buy either? We can get a new Android, extra padding, grants one HP to an agent, gain the adaptable the adaptable passive ability. The agent can use vents to to get through as a breach point. Mock weave. Grants plus 30 dodge. Hmm. Is this a breach? No, this is a miscellaneous. Grenade. Ceasefire flash bank smoke grenade. Uh, auto key card or breach charge. I think I want to get the extra padding for Zypher. Because she's always running in and getting close with the enemies. And that should help her not take damage as much. Is this going to? Okay. And with that, I think I'm going to take the Illyrium, though. Because we're starting to run low. Uh, and we don't... I don't want the workshop to hold. But there's also a bunch of money here. We can double what we have and make back what we... Well, I guess overall, that would just be a gain of 25 since we did just spend some. But I... Uh, uh no i want the gain of 40 instead of the gain of 25 that makes sense even though i did just start a thing though so 
so so. Progeny is developing new tech that augments their psionic domination. We can't allow this. Undermine their research and end their experiments. All right. Undermine Sonic Research. The project is developing new tech that augments. Oh, this is what they just said. Okay, so we found out part of what they're doing. Today, the city council appointed Councillor Parada as deputy mayor until the upcoming elections. Councillor Vorthu expressed his displeasure after the session. He opposed the bulk of Mayor Nightingale's policies. A new title won't change that. The deputy mayor responded. This is a trying time for us all. My goal is to keep the lights on until we elect a new mayor. No more, no less. More as the story develops. Celio Dash reporting for Channel 37. All right. Oops, hit my mic again. Uh, I put my my pop uh, filter back on, so maybe that'll help with some of the noises. Uh, new supply items, enhanced armor upgrades. I want to do this one because it says priority, so it'll get done a little bit faster than usual. Let's see, begin four days. Uh, that's not bad, actually. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we have this mission available now, or this one. This one says impact frame, weapon mod. I've never heard of this thing. And then we get a bunch of intel also. This one's gonna go up by one if we don't do it. This one's gonna go up by two. Uh, this one will come down by two once we complete it. But I kind of, I think I'm gonna save that one for next for the next episode and then do this one because again hit my mic I've my, again my pop filter hangs down in front of me a little bit and I keep grabbing my arm because I only need the mouse at this point but I want to get that impact frame just to see what it does and see what it, where it can be applied so we want to give you the extra padded armor do I have anything else I don't think so pangolin gauntlets so now she has 11 health think everything else is cool because we didn't change it we didn't change anything from the last mission now unless I want to pick up something else um, we never gotten, haven't gotten to a point where we need needed to reload so that's kind of useless miss shots deal one damage to the target uh, expanded magazine accidentally clicked I was really gonna be upset if it bought it bought something but then I want to go ahead and get this or do I want to get more armor for somebody? We haven't really been... We haven't had too much trouble with taking damage. Besides... Cherub. So will we want to get Cherub the Mach Weave? I don't know. I feel like the moment I get him Mach Weave, he's going to stop getting shot at as much. Um, But the stock guarantees one damage per shot. And even if we miss... Wait. Miss shots still deal one damage to the target. And that can be kind of useful too... But I think I want to protect Cherub. I don't want my people to always be getting hurt. So I'm going to get him the, the Mach Weave to increase his dodge, which makes it harder for him to be hit. So that sounds like the better option here. I have no attachments for anything. I think all weapons can use the same attachments. So, yeah, except for her thing. Maybe there's just a better version of Gauntlets out there. I'll have to see as I go along because I've never seen this in... XCOM before the guy I played, or the guy I played, the guy I watched play it when it first came out didn't see even see device. her. Destroy as able. Okay, so breach mode units can use the running gun ability on their first turn. All units entering this get plus three mobility for the first round. Units can use running gun ability as the enter. All units entering here get plus twenty five defense for the first round. We'll give her that, and then we'll put. We'll give Verge the extra mobility because Oh, uh, maybe I should put Verge to the one that gives him plus twenty five defense though. I don't know. Did I forget to start it? I did forget to change the order in which they go in. Oh no, Cherub is still first, right? Yeah, okay. One hundred percent on all of them, he has. So a resident, an acolyte. A thrall and a trooper. I don't know. I feel like he's gonna be a problem later, especially since he has that little uh bit of armor. But he's already dead because we got a critical off the jump. Okay. 
because of our extra defense, I kind of want to send it after the resonant resonant because I don't know what they can do yet. Um, and then the last two are thralls, right? Yeah, no, an acolyte in the thrall. Ooh, I wish I knew that was an acolyte before. I probably would have sent Zypher on uh, it instead of what he wants to. Doesn't matter though, because she got it with one shot. And since nothing is bridge can levitate enemies to negate their cover biz bonuses and cancel any breach behavior or of aggressive or alert well nothing is aggressive or alert here so i don't feel like i need to use that as much that was a weird ass shot i'm not gonna lie that man just sprayed and hoped all right who's up first someone just has to get there he's first I said i have the running gun ability Transformation will have additional sub-objectives. While not required, completing sub-objectives will grant bonus rewards. Take an action after dashing. Okay. So to get him. Okay, so there is half cover right there. Okay, I'm moving. Guard, guard, guard. And now I still have an action left. Whose turn is next? They're second. She has no cover. So I'm going to give her a shield. That's actually pretty useful. I like that one. Hopefully we can get a character that just has the run and gun ability. Um, even if it is only one. Oh, of course. They move on. Chero. But good thing we gave him that armor. So maybe this will miss. Dodge Graze. That's good. That's what we wanted. Mm. We can just subdue them, right? Because two to three subs so guaranteed. Yeah, just kick them. The roundhouse kick is great. Um, how many encounters do I have here? I kind of want to touch that before. Uh, but I don't want to waste the team up here. I can use Verge's ability to subdue them. So I'm gonna use the Gremlin heal on Cherub then. Just to keep him maxed out for now. Cause it's only one turn cooldown. I, does that end her turn? It does not. Okay, so let's move her to a position to where she could potentially take out this dude if Verge somehow messes up with his uh thing. There we go. So now Verge should be able to. So now you can use Stupor, cancel out his turn basically, or stun him for his turn so he won't be able to do anything. And then now I can go touch this thing and make sure that I get it without having to worry about moving to the next room and missing it. Uh, open closed chest. And this should give us either extra loot or an extra something. Contraband cash. So yeah, this is extra resources. And. Now, oh yeah, take him out. There we go. So I believe we would have to get that cash before moving to the next room or we would have just mixed it. And that's why it was giving us the tip of, um, of, um, optional objectives. First thing through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. I think Verge just makes sense to go first because he can control someone else and have them use their weapon. And yeah, I think this works. Time to breach. Let's see. Aggressive alert alert. Okay, so I want to take out the aggressive dude so he doesn't shoot at all. Is there a chance to kill? There's a chance to kill if we can do four to five damage, or I can just use levitate and not have to worry about it at all. I think I'm gonna do that instead. So now their aggressiveness is uh gone for this move. And then I'm gonna deal damage to these alert enemies. 
this one has a better chance of being hit. I'm not worried about the surprise enemy. I really don't like when it does that animation because it looks it, it's cool because it's like a trick shot. But then it's also like when you miss, duh, you missed. Okay, hopefully she hits this. So she degrazed and did two damage. But I think I can take them the rest of the way out right now, right? Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, so they're just gone out of it completely. I think. Eyes on the target. Smash it to pieces. No more ammunition. Okay, because his weapon is disabled, he does he technically doesn't have ammunition. Um uh, face chance hundred percent. What about them though? Because I know they have a gun too. Okay, well I'm gonna do Hit them with that to kill them. Hit the thrall with the uh, uh, battle madness to kill the acolyte. Yep, there we go. And then... Can I use stupor on them again? No, I can't. But I can use stupor on them to make them not have a turn when it comes to it. So Zyphir will be able to go first. Or be able to go with no interruption. Oop, forgot she was out there. That's fine. Oop, kinetic shield. Uh, can we see her? I don't think we can from here. I'm actually going to reposition them because they don't get their turn. So I'm not worried about them right now. I'm going to move accordingly. So now I want to try and give the kinetic shield to... Zypher, so she doesn't have any problems later. Is this our last encounter? I cannot. Yeah, this is encounter two of. Two of. What, three? No, two of two, sorry. Like, it's not on the screen in front of me. Uh, That heals. Gremlin on the way. And then we're gonna shoot this you other trooper. If you think it's best. No, she's more accepting of the heal than other people are 69 okay well if that's how it's gonna have to be then i'm gonna take this shot instead Better you than me. and they're stunned Not right anymore. oop well guess i won't be doing that move again guess i won't be doing that move again all right what do we have to do here And then let's move by him. I think if you go near or on an adjacent tile to a, a citizen, they just run all the way out of the building. I can't follow them because it just didn't let me. Uh, I have to reload. Damn. So I'm going to hit him with subdue then. Subdue. Because his weapon is disabled, and then I'm gonna come in with a uh, cherub shield bash, and then I'm finna switch him out for the Zim because he's just taking too much damage. That and Godmother has been off for a little bit, and we'll have to see. Hopefully, this isn't damage. Okay. Can she heal again? Yes, yeah, she can. All right, go ahead and heal him up because this man just knows how to take damage for almost no reason. Yeah, see, he says you didn't have to do that. Zypher just says thanks, or like if you feel like it, or something like that, which is better than pretty much no. Alright. Alright. Recovery ward. Headed worm needed. Next time, faster. Next time, fat. That makes sense, though, because she does move pretty quickly overall. Alright, so we'll get this hit in and then continue to retreat. Oh, okay. We just had to take, take that out. Cherub is wounded. She's lightly wounded. I think still no scar, but just to try and prevent that, we're taking him out the team for the next one anyways. Alright. 
If you go nowhere else during your time in City 31, do take time to visit Highland Square without convenient access to both local but with convenient access to both local and regional travel, the square is the best best that City 31 revitalized industry has to offer. New products local, locally made come preview what the global economy could be. City 31 Tourist Council. I, I should, probably should have been reading those the whole time because I didn't see but I didn't see them there. So. Confirms significant unrest in City 31. Without the city's trust, reclamation cannot investigate effectively. Anything we can do about that? Results can earn back the public trust. We're here to keep the city safe, so there's no better way than doing just that. The city council has approved Reclamation's use of field teams. This will keep a lid on unrest, but with community support, they can do much more. All right. District unrest is how we tell how bad things are getting on the streets. It makes the missions harder as it rises and when it fills up, the starts to add to city anarchy. Okay, yeah, that's what I just talked about. I guess I got to it a little early. I uh, probably want to put something on this one. All right, there are three types of field team, security, finance, and technology. Each one is focused on a different resource. You'll be able to upgrade field teams to increase their income value and unlock other effects or switch to different types. Field teams are most, most Field teams cost intel increased in price as you build and upgrade more field teams of the same type. All right, the first one's free. 30 credits income, 20 intel, or 20 illyrium. Plus five, credit, plus five credit income, plus 65 credit bonus awarded to on the on district missions. One district unrest for completing district situations. I think I want the finance one. Yeah, that we can get those extra. Uh, we're actually... Now we have 25 credits. We have a bunch of intel. I don't think intel is going to be a problem for us ever. Uh, maybe the Illyrium is the one that we want to get. Let's see how our field field teams. Okay, that's what you just told us about. Let's see what these, this is looking like. Three days left on this. Priority. So we still have time to build up more Illyrium as we go on. So I don't think we need to worry about that as much. But can I switch her out actually? Nope, hang on. Let me get in here and switch her out for a cherub, except. So cherub's gonna be working on that. Godmother's gonna come in on the next mission. We have a few situations that we can handle. Oh, build the field team. Yep, I'm gonna put you here. Uh, is that the one I wanted to do? Yeah, because I'm low on credits right now. It's probably what it's gonna be based on most of the time, for the free ones at least, is what am I low on right now? All right, so this is saying reduce district unrest. Uh, oops. So reduce target district unrest by two. The district has a few team plus one per rank. All right. So I can get this all the way down to zero if I use it right here, right now. Okay, let's see. The APC requires a full roster of four agents to respond to a target area. Godmother. All right, let's see. An anonymous tip suggests that nondescript apartment is stashed house connected to our current investigation through MPD request reclamation backup for the planned raid. All right. Intel is one of three reclamation requirements. It's spent by to buy or upgrade field teams on the city map and to buy exotic items in the scavenger market. All right. 3MPD has evidence that a mercenary team is smuggling restricted weapons on the Decide. They request our presence when we make the arrest. When they make the arrest. The scavenger market is like XCOM supply, but the items offered are a lot rare and more powerful. That's pretty much what it is. I think it, I guess I'm going to send the APC here because, you know, we want to unlock that thing. And now this is a critical mission, which they is shaken by the untimely loss of our mayor. But with everything this city has been through, I have to believe we'll come out of this stronger than ever. Let's not sugarcoat this, Roger. How can we feel safe when our duly elected officials are kidnapped and assassinated? You're absolutely right. This is a tragedy. We can't forget or forgive. But how do we move on? Tension can be felt on every street and in every home. Together, Glorgo, that's how we move on. 
Throughout our city's history, we've faced many challenges and threats, but only together can we find peace. Let's hope you're right. Big facts. A uh, 3 PD confirmed a nightclub manager connected. Oh, wait, I think I read this one before. Connection to the progeny. Somehow she gets her hands on specialized sonic tech and turns it over to them. So because this is a critical mission now, it means that we have to do it and there's no other options. A lot of, uh, from what I've seen, the best thing to do is to wait till a mission goes critical because then it clears everything else and so nothing else will raise in unrest while you're doing it. Um, it's going to go down by two unrest when I do that. So it'll put it at two unrest overall. So I think I'm fine without pulling it down. Uh, let me make sure everything else is set. Two there. Illyrium, Intel, 100 credits. Training, I don't have anyone extra to train anyways. I keep doing that on accident. Can I save the game manually? I cannot. Because of the difficulty that I'm in. Okay. Okay, the scavenger Hello, market. Chimera Squad. I'm the proprietor of the Viper's Nest. A humble establishment in the fringe. As I'm sure you know, dangerous tech from the advent days still turns up from time to time. The city pays well to anyone who turns it over. So I hire a network of scavengers to find the stuff. Oh, and I occasionally hear of opportunities that may interest you. If I do, I'll be in touch. All right. So what she does is she also helps us find um, special special weapons and other things like that. So she's good to have around. I don't know if you can really control anything that she does, but it is just nice to have, basically. Uh, standard shot does not automatically in turn. Hmm. I don't know if I want any of these right now. We're not doing too bad on uh, AM overall. I kind of want to get something though, just because no reason to wait. Clip size is increased by two. We reload between each encounter, and I haven't run out of ammo yet during one. So I think I'm going to leave that normal actually. I'm going to go ahead and take on this mission now. Armor, mock weave. She has a shotgun, so she's probably going to be impact frame. Increases subdued damage by two. The weapon upgrade will increase the damage of subdued attack. She's going to be up close a lot, so I think that makes sense for her to have, actually. And then that's why I gave her the mock weave. Trank rounds. Don't want to mess that one up. And then what else did it say I had? I have a scope. I think I was going to give that to her because her weapon, I think do believe is inherently has inherently bad aim 78 79 82 75 so godmother actually has the worst aim here 78 79 that doesn't matter 75 so i'm going to give it to her but it might be because she's still at her first level she hasn't leveled uh not level promotion so i'm going to give this to her to uh terminal and then Godmother's gonna take the impact frame. And I think we're ready for this next mission. And hit the wrong button. I think we're ready for the next mission. Of course, we could also have Zypher lead. But I don't know if I want her leading anymore. I'm definitely not gonna push her in as far without a cherub shield. Some kind of psionic tech in this club. Find it and recover it. Expect minimal resistance. Minimal, alright. I feel like that's a lie. And it's automatically activate overwatch at this breach point. Uh, lashing it through this entrance will be rooted for one turn. I could still use this one because I can just send Zypher through last and she's immune to that effect. So um, negates that portion of it. Uh, but this one automatically puts all of our units in Overwatch. I can activate Overwatch after the breach. So that means if there's any aggressive enemy still moving around or like trying to make a move, or if any mo enemy moves at this point, then... We're going to shoot at them, which is a chance for um, extra damage. So I'm going to send Verge through first, actually. Then Zypher, uh, Terminal, and Godmother. Time to the leader doesn't always have to go in first. Okay, so we all went through this first one. Uh, you're aggressive, so I'm going to levitate you. 
didn't mean to do that. Worked out the same end result of him being dead. Uh, you, you're an acolyte, and you're an acolyte. So we have two acolytes and something else. Wait, what did I say? Two acolytes and a uh, resonant. She's been pretty good at hitting the resonance. So I'm going to keep her on that. Breach fire, breach fire. 100% shot on a surprised enemy. But I might not get another chance to shoot it with 100%. Godmother has a 90% chance on that. 71 there, 71 there. So let's take this shot. Hopefully don't hit, um, oh, unconscious. That's pretty good, actually. All right, let's see what's happening with the turns. Get my other hand on the thing. There's a buzzing. Could it be a pirate psionic network? I don't think so. Maybe it's the contraband? Got you covered. Thank you. So I do, do believe all of these characters are now in Overwatch until their next turn. Uh, I want to put one of them in Battle Madness to kill the other. Uh, make an enemy go berserk and attack a nearby target adds them to the neural network. So that's what you have to be careful of because they're attacking a nearby target. Um, Zypher is still a target in this case, I believe. Uh, but let's see what happens. Uh, that was an interesting effect. Didn't expect that one. Hopefully that flash doesn't have an effect on anybody, possibly with epilepsy. Didn't know. Uh, it would definitely would have got me, not gonna lie. Uh, I can't put them in a stupor because they're the one who just shot. But maybe I can take them out right here. Good shit. Alright. So, that was easy for the first one. They did say expect little resistance. I didn't think it was going to be that little of resistance. The dance floor, not a lot of cover, so prepare to get down. Dumb, you're, you're breaking up. I said, Prepare to get the oh, okay. I see. Ah, it is funny because I also understood your intention. That's terrible. All right, there are fewer aggressive enemies present at this entrance. That shouldn't through this entrance automatically activates Overwatch after the breach. Three here, two here. I uh, definitely want to take the two. It says agent damage, damage likely, but it also said that last time. But well, let's see how this goes. Terminal is going to lead through this one. Then Verge, Cypher, and Godmother. I think Godmother might lead, bring up the rear every time. Right, let's see. You're alert. You're alert. But no one's ready for us from this entrance. Alright, you're already dead. 50% chance. But I want to take the shot. Yeah, I shouldn't have took that shot, actually. Levitate might have been a better option there. Um, I don't know if I want... I do want to send her out there. And if Godmother hits, that'd be nice. Because then we know for sure this will kill. Unless Godmother just... Yeah, Godmother just took them out anyway. So it didn't matter. Hunker down. Okay, this is taking a bit. Who's up first? Terminal? Okay, I can't reach that point. Um, um, where's Terminal at? I'm going to use Team up here because I don't like that they have the ability to potentially um, just get a free hit on someone. So I'll bring Verge's turn up, turn up to uh, possibly stop them. And we still don't have sights on them, so I'm going to prepare her next turn by increasing defense by 30 and her dodge by 50. The next turn is moved early in the time. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. They still can't see. Where are they at? They're way over there. I can make it there. Do I have an angle on them now? Damn, they're really back there. 
All right. I guess we'll put him and Overwatch in this direction. So if they make a move on us, we're still going to take a shot on them. Interesting shot chance. Also interesting how they can see us and we can't see them. Can she see her? She can. Oh, but I still want to get this thing first. And she will kill them if uh, she goes for it. Oh, wait, that's number six. Where's number two at? Oh, number two is way over there. Number two might be able to move up and... I, do, I still want to see what this is. She does move way faster, actually. Open. There we go. Let's wait for that uh, civilian to move. Uh, contraband cash. She, that person should not be able to see Zypher, so that should be cool. Actually, they shouldn't be able to see anybody. Oh, I guess it let them lean over to take a shot. But still standing. Stay down until you're good. Uh. Need a little help? Thank you. I'm going to move them up a little bit more. We'll get a godmother right here, and if it's gonna do it and where they can lean over, then I should be able to shoot them, right? Yeah, okay. Any chance to shoot, shoot it, shoot, shoot. Any chance to shoot, no, any chance to shoot is good at this point. And instantly killing. All right, that's pretty great. All right, let's move up on them because they're they're at a weird angle too. I don't know how they can see us, but we can't see them. I guess because we don't lean to the side to take our shots. Is this a kill no matter what? It's not. And I really don't want them to be attacking at all. So hopefully we can get this their turn completely canceled out. No, it's only stunned one. So they can either shoot or move, I believe is what it is. You have to get a level 2 stun to stop both actions. But since it was only a stun one, they only got one. Or they get one action still. And now this person gets to get beat to death. Yep. I wonder what this ability is like at higher levels because so far almost anything she hits dies instantly. Um, anything on the dance floor? Nothing I can dance to. That's funny, but yeah, pretty much anything she hits dies instantly. So I don't get to see the effect of like weapon disabled and all that that comes with her attack. All units entering this get plus twenty five defense. So I think in this case I will send Zypher first, and I was going to say then Chera, but he's not on the team this time. I was just going to headbutt that for a second. I don't even know why. Acting like I haven't seen it. All right, you're aggressive. You're... You're alert. But you're aggressive. So you will take a shot. I know for sure that's what aggressive means. I think alert means they have some sort of reaction. I want to take you out for sure. Okay. So now that's done. 94 on the surprised. 100 on the surprise right there, though. So I will take that shot. <sighs> My goodness. And then you can take out potentially anything that you hit at this point. 67, 91. Might as well take them out now. Yeah, see, that's the shot that I was hoping not to have go off. But I think they missed anyway, so it didn't matter. I forgot that her thing goes after the breach, so they would have still gotten that shot. Uh, should have used Verge to levitate it. I, if I had that opportunity, I don't think I did. That's the contraband. Grab it and get out. And then I don't know what was supposed to happen to her, why or why it said immune. Uh, this was straight up kill. Who's who's next though? You're number two. Where's number four? You're number four. Number six is in there. Hmm. What is that? Okay. Number four has two, four health. But if I take out number two, then she'll get her turn next. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take out the second one. Almost activated the attack. I can get them from here too, which gives me cover from number four, just in case, uh, 
terminal isn't able to get to them. And I'm actually going to turn on parry instead of move. Shooting for momentum can be spent to prevent damage from the next attack. Because I do think I can get the attention of this Acolyte or at least take them down. Uh, but I'm not sure about the... Um, what is this? The Resonant. So that's what I'm more concerned about here, actually, and not the Acolyte. Especially since I was able to get around the corner and get away from the Acolyte's immediate line of sight. Didn't even have to worry about it. Alright, so now... I want to... I've already used Team Up. Hopefully I can get right here. And uh, put them in a stupor. Give me your mind. All right, so there's a level one stun. They're probably gonna get back up and take the shot on uh, Zypher, but I do believe she has plus 25 defense as well as the pair on her. That's dumb. Yeah, real jackass move right there, actually. So now I can almost blindly run up to here with uh, is this? I hope you can't shoot that. Uh, but I'm still gonna use it as cover. Then I can use Zypher to run in here, kick them in the back of the head, pretty much. With the movement to confirm it is so weapon disabled, so they can't shoot. So they're gonna have to use some type of psionics to attack uh, if they even can. Let's see, can I? I can't touch this still. Open and close. Psionic augment. I wonder if I can give that to Verge and actually use it for myself instead. All right, so now we have to get out, okay? So it's a good thing I didn't move everybody in. A 53% chance to hit. Uh, can I use Subdue? I cannot, but Godmother might be able to. So I'm actually gonna put her into preparation. No, I'm actually going to make her Overwatch. And damn. I guess this direction, just in case, because uh, enemies are supposed to come in through there and on this far side. But I think by the time we get to that point, um, that far side should be clear. All right, let's see if I can shoot them and take them out. All right. So now I can do a full retreat um, right here. Have her move all the way over to he here. I want to within range to... Um, leave when she has that chance and put her in overwatch over this area so now we have both the doors covered yep and there you see overwatch in action so now what might be a better use of her move is if Zypher comes in here, kicks them, and then runs again because she gets that extra movement and she will still get closer with that. So she'll be able to come in here, punch, or kick, whatever she does most of the time. I actually don't know. Shattering. Oops, did not mean to do that one. I was trying to change to the thrall. Same effect overall, though. And she'll still be able to retreat back to here. Actually, it was probably better that I hit them because... They died instantly, which took them out of the turn order and all of that. I could run in and subdue them just to get that extra little bit of incel. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that, actually, because I don't. it doesn't say right here. It doesn't tell me that there's um, reinforcements imminent. So there'll be reinforcements out there her next turn. And I'm going to start piling near the door just so I can move everybody out all at once. I don't want to have people sitting in here by themselves. Uh, she's in a bad spot for when those enemies come through, though. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna overwatch this door. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch all of them when they get close, if they get close to her. Um, there's a potential for enemies coming in this way, so I'm gonna overwatch that door again. And then with her, I'm gonna bring her back here some more, too. And she has the thing, that's what that, um... Pictures, put it in preparation. Take them out immediately. Yes, sir. Or right, yes, ma'am. Let's be. Alright. But they don't come in and get a turn, do they? No, they don't. So, 
I'm gonna bring her back to here and then take shots at them. Yeah, that running gun ability would have been nice. Would be nice to have all the time because then I could have dashed her to the door, made some shots, and then got out. Because the green abilities, I believe, are extra abilities, but only uh, potentially extras, if that makes sense. So I can put them into a stupor, have their turn get skipped. Hopefully, I can get the the uh, double stun. Double, double it? No. Okay. Yep, they resisted, resisted it. That's the problem with these uh, psionics, is that Burgess psionics will also be weakened against them. But I think we should be able to... We can take a shot on them. Potentially kill. Okay. So now with this, with our next set of moves, I'm moving everybody out. I'm going to move two of them out, actually. Evac. Which is gonna probably be, um, she's close enough to leave with one move, so I'm gonna put her in Overwatch on the door. Covering my zone. And let's see, can out. she move? She can move too. Okay. I'm gonna evac these two. Hopefully, I don't think things can come in and instantly take their turn. But they've already been taking out the turn order, so I assume Godmother has this door locked down again. That was kind of a sneak peek, just watching in this corner. As soon as they stepped through, it took them right back out. Uh, that worked out pretty good, actually. So now I'll be able to leave. And I'm cool. Evac. And then Godmother will be out, too. She is. She should be running low. She did just kill everything that stepped through that door as soon as it stepped through that door. That's kind of why I like the shotgun. Uh, that's why I get my... um. The Andrew with the shotgun too. Virgin's the only one lightly wounded. Everyone else is unharmed. It's an X in the mission right there. I see that once Cherub isn't here, lightly wounded is the only thing we get. Even though we did have to heal that back up. Cherub usually takes way more damage than that. Uh, 13 captured enemies have resulted in 20 more intel overall. All right, Floyd Tesseract. Sonic is not only the real threat to our city. Yes, you can be forced to act against your will by, but but any Scion can immediately detect such blatant imposition. Those without Sonic see it as nebulous and scary. Me, I see it as butter. Best if you use sparingly and liable to leave a mess. If not, uh, you should have a belief. You should have believed 2040, February 29th. I guess basically they're afraid of psionics, and this is kind of their um, explanation to why they're afraid of. Um, who are we going to get? Who? Well progeny the progeny. Psionic development program is no more. All right, dozens of hybrids have recently disappeared throughout the city. We suspect progeny involvement. Find out if they're behind it, this and if so how they're doing it so investigate the hybrid abductions i assume there's going to be a chat line right after this oh actually not surprisingly not surprisingly actually oh we have a new in, new teammates all right torque is someone who i'd instantly take if i wasn't making it serious because i like her abilities but i also want to try one of these new dudes instead of using someone i know already because that would make it more fun for me because I don't know what they have. And for you, the listener, because I'm not always talking about hoping to get this thing or talking about, oh, I saw this or that or the other. So I'm not even going to read Torx's bio. We have Sonic, Ally Buff, Mental Attacks. Can I can't be your weapon, but I will be your shield. Uh, Agent launches a Sonic Blast that disorientates all enemies near breach point. Target... Targeted enemy is disoriented for an extra turn, one use permission. Agent sonically swaps positions with the target with the targeted enemy or ally does not automatically end the turn. Hmm. That's interesting, but I don't know if it's what we want necessarily. Uh and then there's Oh, that's Shelter, by the way. I skipped over his name went right straight to what he could do. We have Claymore over here. Explosive, AOE, breaching. There's never a red wire. I'm lucky if there are even wires. 
All right, Agent throws an explosive that detonates after several turns. The explosive does not deal damage through cover and can be targeted to detonate it early. Does not end the turn if it's if used as first action. Interesting. Thinking because of his charge, Claymore detonates a powerful charge, rupturing all enemies nearby near the breach point, usable on walls, breach points, when used permission. I think I like what Claymore is bringing to the table more. Because uh, we're completely avoiding Torek, who moves enemies and allies and poisons. That's her main thing. So I think I'm going to go for Claymore, actually. Just because the, the psionics aren't really helping us right now. Because we're going against psionics, so they can negate this immediately. Not unless we just keep him in training programs and keep him in the base. Which I really don't want to do. I would want to show off a new teammate that I have. So yeah, we're going to take him. Let's see what his bio says. All right. Uh, Old World Origins India, the third child of engineering professors, uh, feel, fled with elder sister and father after death of mother and brother, uh, raised in refugee camp, city-centered outskirts, and eventually res resistance camp, learned to create and defuse explosive devices, manufactured grenades for his resistance camp, successfully, re successfully defused advent devices intended to wipe out resident resistance camps, which brought him to the attention of XCOM. All right, resistance groups connected with connected him with XCOM after a mutual operation. He spent a few months on the Avenger dis disassembling any recovered alien explosive. Age 27. That's a pretty good job for 27. Uh, XCOM kept him at, on a special, special kept him as a specialist, not on a special list. Okay, let's use our brains here. He volunteered to join the reclamation agency as the first opportunity. He placed into kind to be he placed into Chimera Squad. Interesting. I guess there's more in Reclamation than just Chimera Squad. Basically, they're trying to expand the universe with this game, I assume. Hold up, let's talk to him real quick. Where's he at? Where is the mess? Claymore. All around you, pal. Very funny. I brought a fish curry for the squad. How do you sneak that past headquarters? Three spare canteens. You are the man. I'm the man who serves dinner in 15 minutes. Ooh, he's nice. I like him. Where's he at? He's also big. Uh, let's see. Tense armor. Light blue. I didn't check the comments to see if anyone wanted a different color. I don't like this green. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to go with it before anyone asks for green. Um, purple's pretty cool, I guess. But I like the light blue better. It seems to pop out a little more, but not too much. Okay. Agent's abilities. He has no abilities yet. So in our next episode, we will be taking out uh, Shrapnel. That's not his name. That was the name of his abilities, Claymore. We have a promotion ready for her. She's already at level two, probably because she's definitely the most lethal of our uh, team. Maybe because she's actually killing two is why she's leveling up faster. Because the other people have trank rounds, and those trank rounds are only knocking them unconscious. But she's actually getting kills. Let's see. Two... Three, four, five, zero. Obviously, he's new. And then 13 kills. So she's far more effective than anybody, especially him, for example. His psionics is 68, but he's also level one. Just comparing that back to um, Shield. Is that his name? I can't remember. The dude who could swap places. Melee attacks that would deal lethal damage will instead render enemies unconscious. Melee attacks do plus one damage, replaces subdue. And then we have lockdowns. After attacks, any enemy that enters or attacks from melee range. That one would be more useful because if anything passes her, it basically means she's going to do damage to them. And she already does like five damage. Like what is it? Four to five damage or something like that all the time. So that could be useful um, and dangerous for the enemies. But melee attacks that would deal lethal damage would instead render enemies unconscious. I think we take back enough unconscious enemies already, so I don't think I want to worry about that, that actually. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get this one. That actually made the trust easier, getting trank rounds for literally everyone else. But let's see. Hybrids have recently disappeared throughout the city. We suspect progeny involvement. Find out if they're behind this, and if so, how they're doing it. All right. So this is where. Wait. What is this? Place two minus two unrest. Place three days towards the operation. Reveal forty-five. 
We have six days to get that. I'm going to do this mission because I did let that get too high. I'm probably going to do better trying to keep things low in these districts. Especially since it's going to shoot up by two. What is this one saying? That one gives us intel. This one gives us 95 credits. So yeah, this one gives us that minus two unrest and 45 credits. So I think overall this one's going to give us the most out of it. And... I think I want to build another field team also. Do I have the stuff to do it though? It costs 60 to build one. I have 130. So I could... I could build two. Actually, it costs 50 to build them. So plus 20 intel every Friday or plus 20 Illyrium every Friday. Um, my Illyrium stores are going up gradually. But I'm going to take this one. And put that there. And then over here, I'm going to take this one. So now we have one of each uh, field team. That hasn't opened up anything new yet. Freeze district unrest. And you can do that for one district, or I can bring down a district's unrest by two. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing, I think we're gonna start off with this mission in the next one, just so we can get that a uh, little bit towards it. We actually got through a few more missions than I would have thought so at the beginning of this. We have one assembly left here. And then we'll get priority on improved field teams, which I would, I think I would go for that next and then start focusing on dealing more damage. Is there a way to upgrade the damage that Cypher does though? Because her damage, I've, I'm afraid that her damage is just going to drop off. I'm going to swap, I'm going to swap Cypher out actually for a Claymore because she's already the highest level. Don't want to take out Godmother. She's still level one or she hasn't had any promotions. They've been promoted once. So these two are zero. These two are one. He's one. And then she is two. Um, she could bring us in some extra stuff. Or I could train her. Basic conditioning plus two HP. That would help her out a lot too because she's usually deep in enemy territory. But I think what's going to benefit us the most right now is for her to actually do a spec ops mission. And more intel will be useful right now. So we're going to put her in and begin that. So I think we'll have to remember to set all this back up in again right after this. Or before I record the next episode. But yeah, so this is basically me. If I do, if there's something different, then you know that I forgot, I guess. Because I think at that point it'd be too late. Because I'm, I'm going to record it. Yeah, so at that point it'd be too late. What was that saying? A field team could be upgraded? But I already spent all that intel not upgrading the field team that was going to take 80 intel we have 30 intel so yeah spent all that money not upgrading the field team already so with that is going to be it for the video uh i'm enjoying this game i didn't i've only played like the first two missions because i didn't want to ruin it for myself uh again although i watched it i watched it years not years last year uh, it was like the thing I did during quarantine, basically, because the dude I was watching was putting out a video in it every day, so I didn't have to worry about it. But yeah, I'm enjoying the series. So, uh, that's all. And bye. Oh, follow my socials. They're in the description below, so you can see a bunch of different stuff there. I don't really stream as much, so maybe I should take that out. Whatever. Bye.